If the question has a set of items with two different classifications and if you choose some items, this kind of a question if it comes in the exam, you will be using hypergeometric distribution. Hypergeometric distribution. It is a binomial distribution without replacement. Here in this distribution, generally we are given with a set of items. Let's say the set has n items. And this set is categorized to subcategories. Category 1 and Category 2. And let's say in Category 1 we have k elements. Then in Category 2 it will be n minus k. Now from this set, generally a person selects few items. Let the item selected be n. So we can take this as chosen items. When we choose certain items, again this will be of two categories. Category 1 and Category 2. And let's assume that Category 1 is x items, then Category 2 will be n minus x. Now when we come across a situation of this format, the probability can be calculated as follows. P of x is in category 1, we have k items, from that we are selecting x items. Therefore I can write this as k c x multiplied by, now from category 2, that is from n minus k we are selecting n minus x. So this could be written as n minus k c n minus x upon the total selection. So from a set of n items, we are selecting this small n. Therefore, we can write this as n c n. This is the formula. This is important try to memorize this formula. Now to understand this application, let's solve one question. Here we have a question from gate 2006 from mechanical engineering. A box contains 20 defective items and 80 non-defective items. If two items are selected at random without replacement, what will be the probability that both the items are defective? Now in the question you can easily figure out they are trying to talk about two different categories, defective, non-defective. And secondly, they said it is without replacement. Before we solve the question, let's try to draw the diagram. So we have 20 defective and 80 non-defective. Therefore, the number of items is 100. Now, this is distributed into two different categories. One is defective, other is non-defective. So defective that is k is 20 and non-defective that is n minus k is 80. Then they said two items are selected. So let me represent this over here. The small n is 2. These are the items which are chosen. So obviously this also will have two categories. One is defective, other is non-defective. In the question they are asking that what is the probability that both the items have to be defective. Therefore, x, whatever you choose, both must be defective. Non-defective should be 0. Now, let me write the formula. Probability of x is k c x into n minus k c n minus x divided by n c n. Now, let's substitute this. 20 c 2 into 80 c 0 divided by 100 c when we solve this, this turns out to be 19 by 495. Now let's do one more question. Here is the big one. This is gate 2014 from computer science. The security system at an IT office is composed of 10 computers of which exactly 4 are working. To check whether the system is functional, the officials inspect 4 of the computers picked at random. 
without replacement. The system is deemed functional if at least three of the four computers inspected are working. Let the probability that the system is deemed functional to be denoted by P, then 100P is. So we basically need to find the probability value P, then we need to multiply with 100. Now again, if you carefully observe, there are two categories. One is working, the other one is non-working. And secondly, they mentioned without replacement. Therefore, this is hypergeometric distribution. Now to solve this, let's draw the diagram. Here they mentioned the number of computers to be 10. So n is 10. And here the two categories are working and non-working. And they mentioned that exactly 4 are working. So working are 4. So obviously non-working will be 6. Then they said that uh, the officials have inspected 4 of the computers. So the selection, the small n is 4. Now again in this 4, there could be two possibilities. Few could be working, few could be non-working. They said the system to be functional, at least 3 of the 4 must be working. So when they say at least there could be one or more and they said three therefore so I can choose three to be working and one to be non-working or four to be working and zero non-working. We need to consider both the cases. Now let's write the formula. Probability is let me take this particular case. So out of four three are working therefore I can write four c three into out of 6, 1 is non working. So 6c1 divided by from 10, we have chosen 4. So 10c4. Or the second case is out of 4, we have taken all the 4 to be working. So 4c4, then out of 6, 0 or non working. So 6c0 divided by out of 10, we have taken 4. So 10C4. So when you solve this, this turns out to be 0 0.1190. But they didn't ask the probability. They're asking 100 times of the probability. Therefore, 100 times of P is 11.9. This is the answer.